Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about uh, how to fix uh, your purchase could not be completed. Uh, contact iTunes Store support to complete this transaction. So if you try to purchase something from the App Store and after or uh, iTunes Store and you see this kind of inter, uh, error on your iPhone iOS 18. So how you can fix that for this one you have to do you have to be watch this video completely. So without wasting any time, let's start the video. So first of all, what you have to do, you have simply close this page. And after closing the page, you have to simply make sure that you are connected to a proper Wi-Fi internet connection. And here what you have to do, you have to simply turn on the airplane mode for some seconds. And after that, you have to simply turn it off again. The next thing you have to do is you have to simply go to settings and you have to simply go to general. And after that, you have to scroll it down until you find the option of transfer or reset iPhone. So here you have to simply click on reset. And you have to reset all of your network setting. And after resetting all of your network setting, you have to simply uh, open the name or Apple ID here. So here you have to simply click on media and purchases and you have to simply click on view account. After clicking on view account, a new kind of interface will be available here. You have to simply check your payments, uh, which will be available. So here you have to simply check on manage payments and you have to try to check whether you have added the payment method correctly. So here you have to simply provide the uh, password and after providing the password you will be uh, there will be available to manage payments and after uh, manage payments you have to simply add, try to add a new payment or remove that payment method which is not working for you and after uh, adding a new payment method you can simply restart your iPhone and you have to try to uh, purchase uh, that uh, uh, try to purchase that again and so that if the problem is still there then you can simply contact the Apple support team so that they can solve the problem for you as soon as possible. So hope you have liked this video. If you get more videos like these you can subscribe our channel.